So I think I need some new armor. And I've also been thinking about uh, taking my ender pearls and then going back to the nether to get some more uh, blaze stuff. One uh, orb blaze. hides among the warts in sweltering heat. Oh, Another okay. watches from the cooling canopy. Okay. Canopy. Oh, yeah. Among the warts. Uh, yeah, nether. <laughs> That's what I was just saying. I was thinking of going back to the, the nether to get some more blaze stuff uh, and then turn those ender pearls into eyes of ender because I've never in my Minecraft career gone in pure uh, survival mode to the end. Uh, sorry, I've never found a stronghold either that would be interesting for me to find. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a cap. I'll have to go barefoot for a few minutes while I find one more piece of iron. But I could probably... I think I can head to the... towards a jungle without having boots. I can use my prehensile monkey toes to climb up a tree. The question is, which direction of jungle do I want to go for? Or does he mean... No, I don't think he means this kind of canopy. He's got to mean a jungle. Uh, I have haven't had issue finding any, and following any of his directions yet. But you know what, though? Let's think about this for a second here. I've gone in that direction a couple times. I've gone in that direction a couple times. Maybe what I will do is I will go in this direction, which is east. We will go to the east. That there, that solves it, just me even thinking about that. Let's go, Flash. This, I just wanted to show you, I'm kind of about at the limit where I can see the beam uh, in the direction I was heading, and I came across this really pretty little grotto here where there's just this tiny bit of swamp up against this little wildflower area here. Uh, I chopped the reeds down, but... And then it's sort of got this backdrop of the podzel, it's just a pretty little glade. This is the kind of thing you get quite a bit uh, when you use the, the biome size of one. Uh, and then over here, there's like this natural sort of theater. Uh, look at this sort of rounded out area here. To me, when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was there would be like two rows of bleacher seats right here. And then this would be a stage. And here's the backstage area where people would perform like uh, uh, little Shakespeare plays, like at a Renaissance fair or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to call that the theater. I don't know if I will ever actually come and build there, if I will ever have a need to do so. That's what it reminds me of. And then there's like, look at this sort of rectangular looking swamp in the middle of this other biome. It's just the mix of these biomes is really cool. Ah, there we go. There's a jungle. Oh. Oh, there's the there's my temple. Okay, I know exactly where I am. See, that's the other thing too. I get really lost in this map and I'm suddenly like really close to where I've already been. And yet, it seems like I've gone super far and all that. All right. So, let's Oh, you know what? Wait, this is the same jungle that I was cow hunting in. I just came at it from a different direction. Let's see how, let's see. Is it too deep for you? I'm gonna make it so you can't possibly drown, I hope. He loves water. He is Flash, the teenage horse otter, by the way. Okay, Flash, you have fun. Oh. Okay, good. You have fun not drowning, and I will be back for you. This is going to be Flash's fat Flash's swimming pool. This is like a deluxe horse containment unit. In fact, it's perfect size for you and everything. I want to head towards the highest tree. Oh shoot! 
I did not bring a bed with me. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, it looks like... Looks like that's the tallest tree. Uh, there's no way for me to get a bed. I'm just gonna head over there. I have escaped the ground animals. And I'm headed up into what I think is the tallest tree. May have to double check myself before I double wreck myself. Actually, I'll know as soon as I get up to the top. If it's the tallest, it will be tall. If it's not, then I will go to the next tree. But I think it is. And actually, this is a really convenient way to get up that I didn't even pers uh, didn't even foresee. I almost said perceive. I didn't even expect. Okay, we're in the leaves. I haven't... Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, yes! <laughs> Excellent. I need these. Uh... Oh. I guess I've been over there, too. Chop so fast. Don't chop quite so fast. Don't chop quite so fast. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing sky biome. So that must mean this is not the right tree. Even though it does look the tallest. 29 seems good, I think. Huh. Okay. Maybe this isn't the right canopy. Do oh, did that just disappear? Do I see anything from here? I don't. Okay, I'll have to check. Oh wait, there's a tree away over there. Okay, let me check. Okay, I don't think it's these three or that one. Let me go check this one and then these and then that and then that. <laughs> I am suddenly observant of a distinct lack of cocoa beans. I know I have some back in my chest, but I was hoping to grab a couple more for the vault, assuming that assuming this will be a vault tree that is. And huh Okay, so that's the big one I was in. Here's the three I passed. Here's the one I just went up in. So we're gonna check. I don't see anything on those. We're gonna check this one. Then we're gonna go over to that little island. I can't tell if I see anything or not. And then we'll go over to that one. And in my all of my wisdom, I did not bring torches. And I still have that stupid respiration book. And I don't even have enough uh, cobble to make a furnace. The only good thing is I can jump from a high height into water. I love doing that. It makes my stomach curdle up into my gut. One more tree to go through. Aha! Yay, brown orb! Install the orb yes, and I get observe. It. Thank you, voiceless wonder. Oh, and yes, that is the interesting. I guess maybe that's part of the corruption. Oh, that was cool. That was perfect timing. All right. Uh, I guess I'm taking the brown orb back. All right, and we look into the lovely brown orb. Fancy. Okay, so as you can see, I am meant to survive on pillars. And I need to do this in such a way uh, that I don't fall to my death. Looks like two more. <gasps> okay, well that, that settles that. And we'll go ahead and use this as one of the, the blocks. We're going to go ahead and make a chest right off the bat. 
and in fact we'll use that as a block we want to get a fishing pole and a bow because why not all right here I am at the hay bales and I have a food source so uh, I would say I'm in pretty darn good shape at least at least from the perspective of having food melons are falling on my face but that doesn't mean that I have sticky fingers or something oh, oh man we are Smalik saying so long and I hope that you do check out Rackabilly's channel a cast survival map I haven't seen a survival map in a while that was interesting by Rackabilly all right I am super happy with the way that section of the vault looks this is where I do the reviews or where I put the reviews for survival maps in the jungle biome you can see the previous biomes oh, I just love the way the vault is looking it's gonna spiral down uh, seems like this might become a nether biome I think that's where the next orb is and you'll notice some dirt here I have a friend where's my friend there he is hey friend turn around look at the camera anyway that's a villager uh, a villager zombie carrying in a, a block so he's gonna be persistent he is the vault keeper he's gonna be the vault keeper I just need to go get a golden apple and a potion and we're gonna have ourselves a vault keeper which is freaking fantastic I didn't even anticipate that but let's put in the review for pillar survival by Wreckabilly all right, so I'm giving this one a total rating of 10 out of 20. Now, just a reminder with this new scale, a rating of 10 is a good rating. This is an above average map. I felt like the gameplay mechanics itself are a bit above average for survival. You are not going through normal terrain and uncovering ruins. You actually have to choose your path and you actually have to decide uh, how much platforming and how much searching you want to do among the pillars. There's also a double dragon uh, boss fight at the end, and I really appreciated the pillars being in the nether and in the end, keeping that consistent feel throughout the map. From an effects perspective, I didn't really see too much there. I just gave that an average score. And the build itself, while it looks cool, uh, I think Skygrid comes out a little bit ahead, and I hate to keep comparing it to Skygrid, uh, but I had to give this one an average build for a survival map. From an experience perspective, uh, me personally, I felt like I got a foothold very quickly and then it would have been a fairly long slog to get to the end uh, by surviving legitimately. So I give that an average experience. There really wasn't too much uh, that really drew me towards the end of really wanting to get there legitimately. Uh, but from a challenge perspective, I can see how this would actually be quite challenging to go around and, and actually find all of the items and gear up enough that you can take on twin dragons. Uh, and from a pacing perspective, I thought it was above average. You actually, again, have to kind of choose your own path. Uh, it is a bit random based on where you are in the spread player's command, um, but that makes it replayable and that makes it interesting. So overall, a unique concept for survival, uh, similar to Skygrid, and I look forward to Wreckabilly's next map. And this will be the first map that goes into the survival maps. Alright, I want to make sure I get this guy villagerized. And I was also curious if any other mobs were going to spawn. But I think I've actually lit this up enough now that I don't have to worry about it. Because if I do... If I do come in here and and find another uh, zombie has killed them after I turn them into a villager, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. But I think this is the vault telling me it's ready to be occupied by a full-time vault keeper. Do you want to come on up here? 
you do? Okay. Here, I think I can hit you from here. Oh, hold on. Wait. Okay, hold still. I don't want to miss. Alright, I think I got him. And there we go. Now, I would love it if he was a pink or a green. I don't know if I can get green, but a pink priest, uh, priest zombie would be absolutely fantastic. It's going to take two to five minutes for him to unzombify. So, I guess... Uh, I guess I can, uh, wait here. Is that a blacksmith? Ooh, okay, I don't have a blacksmith. An armorer. Interesting, okay. Well, I guess that's better than uh, just a plain old brown guy. I didn't have an armorer. I was hoping for a priest, but maybe he knows something that I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out at some point. 